thanks guys for tuning in again we're going to um, what I'm gonna do is I'm really pressed for time so what I'm gonna do is uh, just go through the, uh, the motions of taking off your uh, throttle body to clean it um, she's kind of rough idling and uh, the PVC the PCV valve is good um, there, I can't find no vacuum leaks so I'm going to take off this uh, throttle body so you need to take off your resonator whatever this is really there's one rubber grommet there another rubber grommet right down there there's a hose not that hose but this hose you want to disconnect that and either way it's easier just to connect it from there if you want then there's a clamp right there you take off uh, you loosen that off when you're ready to pull it out and then you got this out right then what you're going to do is you're going to loosen off that clamp and you're, you can loose, loosen that one off too if you need to get more room uh, I did I took this one off and this one and you got to finagle this piece of section out here and then there's four uh, eight millimeter bolts one there one there one on the, the bottom and then the one a little bit hard to get on the other side when you, they're all the same length they're all the same length so you don't have to worry take them out and uh, you're and there's two hoses down there you can undo that to see the weight um, there's two hoses you can undo that but there will be uh, antifreeze leak out no big deal no big deal as if you want to take it completely off and there's a connection back there you can't see it but there's a connection just below that green line on the other side of that I'll note that and you can take it off and clean it there is a rubber gasket which is nice it's a nice rubber gasket so don't make sure that you don't lose it and that is all folks oh, that's it i hope that helps you out